All right, Jack, we got some sunflower seeds in there. Okay, wherever you drop those, those are gonna grow. So let's try to make some terraced lines because this needs, sunflowers need about six hours a day. When we do get rain, the water will run down this kind of dry creek. We got snow right here that's slowly melting off. So we're trying to catch, what is it, February 26th, yeah. 25th, something like that today. We're trying to catch some of this runoff to get these ready to go. It's not quite time to grow them. They probably won't sprout up until end of March. Are you eating those? I ate one. <laughs> it's fine. They're good to eat. Mm -hmm. But we want to get them in there. So we're just going to do a little pick line and then we'll plant them kind of terraced up in little spots over here, kind of along where the drainage is on the property. Hey, this ground is wet probably two feet down. from all the snow. Just gonna kick it up enough that we can, then I'm gonna come down here, terrace it a little. All this shell's just on the top, it's not down below. It's probably just from years and years of rolling down this hill as it breaks apart in the snow and ice. All right, so sun's coming up over that way. So this should get in the summer quite a bit. Okay, Jack, now you come through and about every foot, give me two little seeds. All right, about how far is a foot? Um, 12 inches. So probably about one and a half of your feet. Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep going up the hill. And then where that little cut is, where the water runs down the hill, we'll go over and do that. We'll just keep going up this south facing hill until we, uh, about halfway up, it gets pretty dried out. But down here at the bottom, all that snow melt off and rainwater runs down right here, here. So mostly this is an experiment. We got four rows here. Sun comes up over there, chases around through here. We got a fairly decent clearing where the sun's going to hit it, but you can see the runoff over here. We're getting kind of down to the lower bottom part of the property. And this little stream really gets going sometimes. You can see right here through these rocks. A lot of this I just want to do because I want to see what happens. It's kind of a grand experiment, right? I have all these sunflower seeds that we grew last year in the garden, and I want to see if they'll come up, if the ground will sustain them, what the, you know, is it, is the alkalinity too high from all of these junipers dropping, or, I actually, I don't know if that's the right term. That might not be the right term. I'll have to look it up and see what the juniper does to the soil. But for right now, you can see how wet that ground is. And it's a little early to plant, but it won't come up until it gets warmer. And it's pretty easy to till. It's not frozen. So this is just snow that sit a little bit in the shade here. So Jack has been just planting, 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 and he just kicks the dirt over. We've got several rows like this. Probably, I don't know. We probably just planted enough to have about three or 400 sunflower seeds. Uh, planted so if they pop up we'll have sunflowers all over it looks kind of drab because it's not getting dark we're on the shady side of the mountain right now no one's trimmed these junipers ever so all of the dead growth down on the bottom as they grow up is all you see on camera <laughs> it looks like it's getting dark because it is these trees blew over they've just been sitting out here and we're gonna get them in the ground some of these junipers are gonna go away. Some will stay, but we're gonna get that in the ground so it can get all the spring runoff. Look how wet the ground is. Like it's, well, we this is two, like muddy. We have two more trees at the shop that we decorated for Christmas that we can bring out here too. Yep. has been helping me move implements 
I just moved the grapple and the box blade over there. And now we've got to not hit the trailer. All right, let's move it forward. She, this has a lot more power than the other tractor. So she's hesitant on driving it forward. Turn it. I gotta get her good at operating it so that I can be working on the ground and she can run the tractor. Cause let's be honest, I can do a lot more work with a shovel than she can. <laughs> I'm up here on the barn roof, wiring this gutter back on. The wind blew it off. It was just up here flapping, sounded crazy. These rivets broke off of here, but I wanted to show you. The church used to be painted white. And under these eaves, it still is. You can see it's faded off down below. Jamie's been really contemplating painting it white. And I, you know, just to preserve it, kind of seal up the brick, keep some bugs and stuff out, recalk a lot of things, point some of the bricks and then repaint it. Um, I think it would look really cool white. But, you know, a lot of people might disagree, but it at one point has already been painted. All right, it has been a hard winter on the chicken coop. This pile of hay is gonna go. It's old and crusty, starting to get mold. The chickens have been laying eggs over in this corner. Redrick is currently cleaning out the old hay. We're gonna get him some new hay in the coop, but not until we hose it down. And we're gonna clean this up, rake it up. This tree's been fun for them to roost in, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. It doesn't look very good out here. And just get it a good rake. And we still have the garden path that was in here from last year. I'm gonna get that out of here too. We just never had time to clean it up. The chickens didn't care. They like digging around it, but it doesn't look very nice. Up against this and this, this will do the work. Okay, Redrick is getting the coop all out. We do have the water on right now, so I'm gonna spray this down. You can see where they roost up here on that old ladder. That's gotten kind of gross. Yeah, I think they like poop and it like splatters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just spraying it out the back while they roost at night. But pretty happy with how this fared through the winter. It kept them nice and dry and warm. We're gonna get it really cleaned up here for them and uh, keep these doors open for a little while, air it out and put some new hay and straw in the bottom. That was one of the easier coop cleanouts I've done. Oh, door's closing on me. I'm gonna get some fresh straw in here for them. We'll get the nesting boxes back in here and they're gonna enjoy this again. All right, got their yard all swept up. That was just collecting rainwater and getting all mildewy and gross. So I tipped that up so it doesn't collect rainwater anymore. We'll probably move that out to the property and do something with it. But they're already digging back here, loving it. Jamie and I are thinking we're probably gonna put a greenhouse back here and close this off. The chickens don't need this much room. You can see they just mostly are bunched up over there in a the corner all day anyway. Um, this was a lot of room when we had the sheep in here with the chickens, but we're thinking sometime, hopefully before fall, we wanna put a greenhouse back here behind the cottage. So we'll see, I still gotta paint this side, but that's soon. We're gonna remove that conduit and fix that window and paint this side when we're fixing it all up. All right, I got some fresh hay in here. They'll get in here and kick this all around and love on it and make little nests and places to roost and nest and sleep in and lay eggs and we'll come in here and be super happy. This little chicken here is my favorite. She's the friendliest, she likes treats. She loves it when I put fresh hay in here and she kind of just follows me around all over the place because she knows I have treats. The rest of them or over here in the yard. All right, so we're out here in the garden hula hoeing and getting all the weeds that are starting to pop up in the gravel. It's not too bad, just a few here and there, and we're gonna go ahead and get them all out and get ready to get the garden in soon. I mean, we're still probably a month or so out, but it is warming up and you can see the onions are going already.
every time we work on this bed, it starts raining, so it's a sign. If we need it to rain, we just need to come work on this flower bed. I'm pretty sure last time it was snowing. Yeah, snow and sleet and rain. We're gonna hurry and get all these weeds out of there so we're not having to deal with the mud again as it just these barely started raining. Flowers feeling. These are not weeds. Okay, whatever. They look like weeds now. I'm sure they've reseeded themselves. We don't need to do anything. This bed's gonna grow. Oh, yeah. This is hollyhocks? Yeah, it never really died all the way. And apparently when you plant them, they don't produce flowers till the second year. So maybe this year? Yeah. Oh, do we still need to get chicken feed? Yeah, we still gotta go get chicken feed. They're letting me know. They've got enough to last them through the evening, but they're gonna need a refill by tomorrow. So I don't even know what hollyhock flowers look like. They're like big, tall, stocky looking things. They have like, they come and go like this and then they kind of open. Remember those pretty purple ones over there on the corner that were Oh up? yeah. That's what this is. Okay. And they're beautiful and they, they will spread and grow all on their own. So right? they'll fill this whole thing in eventually? Well, well They're gonna have to fight with the marigolds. Those the marigolds, marigolds are gonna come back with a vengeance. Marigolds, zinnias, and um, cosmos. And these, so they're all gonna be fighting. I don't know who's gonna win. We'll have to thin them. Yeah. This bed, we're just going to come back when it's not raining. We're gonna get all the chives out, all the grass, just kind of rake it over, maybe add a little bit of amendment, but this has plenty of seed. So we'll just see what comes up and go from there. Yeah, and we're not quite ready to put the garden in. You can see the grass is greening up and some things are coming up over there. I'm in shorts today, but we're under winter storm advisory tonight. You can see the mountains still have lots of snow on them up there. They're probably getting snow right now. So it's not quite time to plant. Soon, probably in the next three, four weeks, we can start really planting spring stuff outside, but frost advisory is still in effect until Mother's Day. Can't get too excited. It is chick season at our feed store. They're all in there just chilling. I told Jamie not, not any more chicks this year. We have plenty of birds. We still have 22 birds. Okay, so we got all the concrete out. I've got a bunch of topsoil over there in the truck and we are going to start filling this back in. We're debating whether we want the quick, easy sod fix. Got to move a couple little pieces of concrete there. Or if we're just going to grass over it and seed it. I think seeding will match what we have better here. We seed it over there and you can kind of see where it got a little bit. I, I think it's because of this big tree here. It doesn't get good sun there sometimes. So either way, like I'm going to fertilize that, get that greened up, and then seed this. And we'll be done with the front of the shop for a little while. So she drove our little blue tractor quite a bit, but this is a much larger, much more powerful machine. And so it's a little trickier, it's a little touchier, uh, very responsive on like the throttle and the controls. So I just, we put her in low gear so that she can't go fast. <laughs> We're gonna knock the uh, mailbox down so I can get to it real easy with the dump trailer and just get right in here. We have a little gap between our bushes here. There is another bush going here, but we're gonna leave that gap while we move this mailbox. We got permission from the post office to move it. Got the approval. We're gonna move that over on the side. Um, so just come right through here, Jamie. Let's see how she does with the tippy when it goes down in the hole. I guess I could just dig it out with the backhoe, but I don't want to do a ton of stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, push that right over. So I would have sworn that there would have been like a big ball of cement at the bottom of that, but they just had it in the ground. I just pulled it right out. I've been waiting for months to pull this thing out because I was like, it's going to be such a pain. Drives just like a car. So I, I asked Seb, I said, you're not going to put in cement either. And he said, uh, it's fine. So don't forget to text uh, your friend Brandon and tell him where we moved the mailbox to. We did get approval to move it back here because this is where 
UPS and USPS delivers anyway, so they will actually be happy that it is here. Yeah, it's like one less stop. Yeah, because the other mailboxes are over there for our neighbor and for the cottage actually has its own address, even though people won't get mail there. That's a little tall. It's about the same. I got to go about three, four more inches. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about, yeah, I would say a couple inches. You're almost there. Okay. So we actually have, that's good. We actually have a nice white mailbox in the barn that I thrifted. Where did so the shovel go? The shovel, what, the one I put up for you earlier? You should, maybe you should go get my mailbox. How's that attach? It's got some nasty bolt on it. Oh yeah, that looks like a situation. Maybe for another day, but I do have a pretty mailbox and then we could put like a big Jamie Ray vintage uh, sticker on it. Just tamping this down in here. That's pretty tight and it's down there probably 24 inches or so. It's not gonna go anywhere. If someone runs into this and it gets knocked around, it, you know, it's, it was gonna move anyway. dump trailer because it can be a little sketchy but we're trying to get it here so we can dump it and spread the dirt as needed Zeb likes to show off his dump truck well, I, think it's wonderful. Pieces of equipment. I don't know how we always have things we got to haul in this giant trailer but we do we're not contractors See, I told you we needed a supervisor. Do that again. <laughs> Keep going. Brother. One more. Tap the brakes again. You got a little bit more. It. All right, we got the dirt all piled up. So Jamie will be back. I'm going to show her how to do some of this, but I think I'm just going to back drag over to here and drag it up in. So we got three loads so far. I can only fit about three yards in my trailer weight wise of this wet dirt. Uh, this is topsoil that's been sifted. So should grow grass pretty good. We got it from a local nursery that uh, we can get all kinds of stuff. So Jamie is back dragging this because we have kind of like a little trench where the concrete was it just kind of fills right in that slot. We're gonna probably have to do some rake work, but not a lot. And I'm gonna probably have to get a couple more loads, I think two more loads, because we've got, we don't have a ton here that we can spread out this way. And it doesn't look like very much, but that's about six inches deep by about four feet wide. But, Look at that, she's gonna be a good old pro and then I won't have to do tractor work anymore. Have to is the wrong word. I won't get to do tractor work anymore because Jamie will do the tractor work. She can drive that tractor all day long, AC and heat in there. So we, I referred to this earlier as the bigger tractor. Our other tractor was a little 25 horse. Uh, comp, uh, it was a subcompact. This is the biggest of the compact tractors. Raise your bucket. <laughs> there we go now come forward um, this this is I think the biggest of the TYM uh, compact tractors after that they're just regular tractor size 
I don't know what they categorize them as, just standard tractors. That's actually looking pretty good back there. We might need to bring some of this dirt here forward so we can use it there. Maybe go up a little bit. Jack is helping me dump. We need two more loads of dirt. So this is one and then one more after this. All right, Jack, hold off there. I'm gonna pull forward and see if we can drag it out. All right, so we, you can see kind of our little lines right there. We planted some sunflowers. It's April 2nd. We got our first sunflower up. We got some cold nights coming. Oh, Looks there's like there's more there. up there. That's exciting though. So we are clearing trees. You can see all those limbs. We're mostly just chopping the dead limbs off the bottoms of these trees. I actually haven't taken out any live trees yet. Just kind of making a big old pile of limbs. I wonder like, why this is all dead here. It's not dead, it just hasn't grown leaves back yet. That's oaks. Oh, okay. So we wanna, we wanna get lots of water on those and they'll grow big. Right now they're just kind of scrubby. I wonder if you should go through and pick which ones you want. <laughs> Thin them out a little. Are you sure it's not sagebrush? This is sagebrush. Yeah, that's sagebrush right there. Sage breast is not my favorite. But you can see all these dead limbs on the bottom. They don't look very good. They make it hard to walk through here. You can see right there, like that's not gonna be able to walk through very well. But if you look at it like this, you can see where all those limbs are gone. Now it's nice and shady. The grass is gonna grow better. And granted, it's probably still almost freezing at night. It's April 11th today, but it's gonna be, it's like currently like 62 degrees. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Stay tuned. We are back in the cottage. We've got a lot of fun, exciting things we're going to be doing there, and we are committed to finishing it before next winter.